Hi, George here. And today I'll be showing you some of my favorite sites for downloading brushes for Photoshop Elements. And these are all Photoshop brushes, but they use the same format. So Photoshop brushes work just fine in Photoshop Elements. The first thing that I want to show you is how to install a downloader brush into Photoshop Elements. And we'll then take a look at the five sites that I have lined up for you here. Click on your brush, come down here where it says brush in the options. Click on that little drop down right here. Go up to the three dots. And then come down here where it says load brushes. And then navigate to the folder where you downloaded your brush. We'll do that. And I have a whole bunch of brushes saved in my Photoshop brushes folder. I'll just take a look at one of these, the fireworks brush right here. And you should be seeing a file like this that says ABR. That's an Adobe brush file. Click on that. And then come down, click on load. And that loads those brushes in. Now they come in here, as you can see, as a separate set. If you want to make sure that these brushes show up in your drop down list up here, you need to save this out to the default presets folder for your brushes. And I have a video about that. I'll put a link for that in the description. And once they're here, you can then just go ahead and use those brushes. Of course, the fireworks display here. Let me change over to a white color instead of that black thing. There we go. Okay, let's now switch over. I'll go back here to the default brushes. Get that off the screen. That's better. Now we'll be looking at five different sites that I like to download brushes from. These are my five favorite sites. If you want to see a much larger list, I have a very good list of about 10 or 11 great sites to download from and another 12 or 13 articles with additional sites in them on where you can download a lot of Photoshop Elements brushes. And I have that as part of my training coach for Photoshop Elements. If you don't know about that, I'll put the link up there in the upper right hand corner as well so it's easy to get to. Simply go over there, do a search for download brushes, and you'll find that article. And let's now look and see where you can download brushes here for use in Photoshop Elements. The first site I have here is Brush Easy, a great site for finding Photoshop brushes. And I did a search for free brushes here for Photoshop. And there are a lot of great brushes here. Now, most of the brushes that you'll be seeing on most of these sites are brushes for painting with, which are great if you have a stylus and a tablet to work with. But there are a lot of brushes that can be used even if you don't have that fancier setup. For instance, the Mandela effect brushes over here, or this kind of neon sign here, those work great with anything. Here's a 3D text style, floral fabric brushes. All of these are great for use inside of regular projects. Instead of Photoshop elements, here's smoke, here's some bubble effects, here's some snow. Real nice for adding a, just a little something extra into your images. Now, I occasionally get questions from people as to how do you add rain into a picture? Here's a great brush for adding in rain. Let's click on this one. It takes you to this section. This, of course, is a free download. Just click on download. There's a slight delay here. Don't worry about that. And then simply save this into a folder on your hard drive where it's easy to find. I'll put this one into the projects folder. This is just a blank folder I made. I named it project. Nothing special about this. Choose save. Now, this is a zip file for me. You'll have to unzip that. And you'll then find an ABR file inside of that zip. So choose save. And there we go. Let's now take a look at that. Let's close this down, go back over to the desktop. And here we are inside of my projects folder. This is just a temporary folder I use for current projects. Here is that zip file. Right click on this. It's extract all. Choose extract. There's a new extracted folder. Open this up. And there's your ABR file right there. And you can then install this just like I showed you a couple of minutes ago. Okay, let's go back and take a look at our list. And next up here is close down Brush Easy. Great site, by the way. I really like Brush Easy quite a bit. A lot of stuff in here. Okay, let's close this down. The next one here is Behance, another great site for finding all kinds of brushes. Once again, you'll find a lot of these are painting brushes, but things like the splatter brushes can be used quite a bit. Foliage brushes, these are really nice. Here's some spiderweb brushes, real fun for Halloween, things like that. Fireworks brushes, great for New Year's or 4th of July effects. Transparent tape brushes. I haven't seen this one before. That's really nice. I like that. A lot of potential in there. Lip print brushes. All kinds of stuff that you can use in here to add additional interest into your Photoshop Elements projects. Here's a lightning bolt brushes right there. So as you can see, lots and lots of options in here for bringing in additional special effects brushes. Okay, the next site that I have that's quite good is called My Photoshop Brushes. Same idea. Just come down and look for your brushes. Now, a lot of these are what I call stamp brushes, like these Cupid brushes over here. Instead of brushing like you're brushing with a paintbrush, you instead just tap with the paintbrush and it stamps that onto your canvas. And most of these appear to be that stamp style brush. Leaves, cactus brushes. Here's some Valentine's Day brushes. That's pretty current from when I'm making this video. 
So again, a nice selection, in this case, most of these stamp style brushes. This side also has patterns and shapes, a lot of stuff in here. Okay, the next side I have over here is called Free Pick. This also has a lot of interesting content, vector images, photos, AI, icons, videos. Here's your Photoshop files right here. And of course it has free brushes once again. Now these are mostly painting style brushes. We're adding in texture right over here, that's nice. Watercolor effects. A lot of times brushes like this you can add in on a top layer above an image and then blend those layers together to give the image more of a watercolor effect. Or if you have a stylus and a tablet, you can then actually paint with these different brushes. So these are all pretty much painting style brushes in here. Although some of these can be used as stamps like we have in here, these can be used as masks. Just do a stamp of this onto your layer mask to create a mask in that shape and then put an image inside of that mask. And then finally, my favorite site for brushes is right here. This is Deviant Art. And I did a search here for Photoshop brushes and then make sure you come down to where it says deviations to see all of these. Now, most of these are free. A lot of them are paid though, but it's easy to find out which is which. Simply click into the brushes, come down here, we'll find something kind of interesting. This is a bit of a technical look. Let's click on this one and come down here. If there's a download button right here, it'll tell you if it's a free download or there's a cost to that. So that's a free download. Interesting brush, I kind of like that one. So another great site. Now, a lot of these are painting style brushes. A lot of these we've looked at before. I've done this cloud brush in a previous video. And of course we just made a cloud brush as well. Here's some different background brushes. Brushes used to put in textures for backgrounds. Lots of stuff available here. Now one nice thing about DeviantArt is that these are all from actual users who are making these different brush sets. Some of these have small businesses selling these brushes. Some of them they're doing for free, but it's more of a hobbyist site as opposed to the more professional sites. And you find more creative things here. That's why this is one of my favorite sites to come to. We're looking for brushes. One little note here though about DeviantArt, if you're using a VPN service, DeviantArt does not work with VPN services. So if you use VPN, turn it off while you're on the site, and then just turn it back on again once you finish using the site. So there you go, those are five of my favorite sites in here for working with brushes for Photoshop Elements. Don't forget to look at my new training coach for Photoshop Elements. I have a much larger list there of great sites for getting Photoshop brushes to use inside of Photoshop Elements. Also, don't forget to click on this video that you like the video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you next time.